Hello, this is Domenico with Easynomics, and this will be a short video looking at how to draw a uh, production of a firm in the short run, looking specifically at total product, marginal product, and average product. There's another video that will accompany this that provides a full analysis. The intention of this video is just a guidance on how to draw this model. <clears throat> we have to remember that on the y, I'm sorry, on the x axis, you're measuring the quantity of inputs or variable inputs, which is typically labor or adding labor to production. And on the y axis, we're measuring outputs. So you go ahead, you graph your axes, you label quantity of inputs, quantity of outputs. And then what I do is I mark two vertical lines which I'll do here. They can be dotted lines. So I'll draw one right about here. And I'll use a straight line. All right, and I'm going to have an additional vertical line over here. Okay. That's just to provide some guidance and you'll see why in, in just a second. So I'm gonna draw my total product curve. And with my total product curve, this point will represent its maximum, the apex of this almost parabolic shape, almost a parabolic shape. Um, to guide me with my analysis, I'm gonna use variable inputs. And you'll see in the next video how I'll talk about when I get to the third worker, we're going from zero to one to three workers and then reaching um, the total product curve, reaching its maximum when we get to the six worker. So I'm gonna go ahead and label that. <clears throat> now I can go ahead and start to um, illustrate the marginal product curve, which I'll do next. I'll have marginal product go up, hit this line, and then go down and hit this vertical line uh, when the axis is at zero and then continue to uh, a negative value. So this will be my marginal product curve. I'm going to draw that first. And I'm going to label that MP for the marginal product. In addition, I can go ahead and draw my average product curve. And this could just be going up. And it can intersect any point as long as it's rising we don't want it to be horizontal. So at any point where, while it's rising, it intersects with the marginal product curve and immediately it then starts to fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and label that my average product curve. Okay, now I gotta draw my total product curve. So marginal product is at zero where the total product curve is at maximum. And uh, it's going to start to come down and then hit this particular line. And then from here, it's going to just come, come down and decrease as such. So I'll go ahead and label that as my total product curve. What's happening here is that the total product function is increasing, but it's starting to slow down. It's increasing at a decreasing rate and then it hits its highest point when marginal product is at zero and then it starts to decrease. So from this point on, it should be increasing. So I have to illustrate this value kind of doing this, okay? And essentially then I am done. So I have the total product function increasing at an increasing rate. Then it's increasing but slowing down, decreasing rate, and then it decreases. And then I can go ahead and label particular points <clears throat> which I'll go ahead and do now. And this is going to relate to the next video. So I'm going to label this area A as our starting point. And that will also relate to the total product function, also starting perhaps at point A. And then it's going to go from A to point B to point C. And then it goes down perhaps to another point. Let's say it's going down to point D. 
In addition, I'll have a two point e, the intersection between the marginal product and the average product curve, I'll label as h uh, ap at this point. Let's say it's i. When the marginal product curve hits the axes, I'll call that point f. And then further down here, another point, let's say point g. And now I have drawn this graph, and I can go ahead and analyze it. So this will link to the next video that provides a full analysis of this model. And in the information section of that video, you have the full analysis. I'm going to go ahead and put the full analysis as well in this video. And that's it. Just a short video on how to draw the total product function, marginal product, average product um, to illustrate production of the firm in the short run. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe and to like. Thank you so much.